Today we're going to learn a cheeky color grading hack on Premiere Pro that allows you to get some nice color tones in your videos in seconds. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Quick Tip Tuesdays. My name is Camillo for DKD21 Media. I make videos about filmmaking and how to improve your production quality. So if that's something that you're into, consider subscribing. So let's actually make this a quick one. To start off, this isn't a final solution to all your color grading problems. It's kind of a way to get a nice base in your colors or as a workflow hack if you need to turn in projects quickly. So we are using Lumetri Color on Premiere Pro and more specifically the Apply Match function on the Color Wheels and Match tab. If you use other editing software, and you have this function the principles are the same so we have six clips to work with the pink ones are ones that I feel myself and the blue ones are actually from Red's website to show you that if you are using high-end cameras this method also works so I tried to get a variety we have Shibuya in Tokyo a train in Tokyo helicopter into mountains Venice and a festival shot so the first thing we're going to do is actually find our reference photo and we're basically looking for the star that we want to emulate for our video I like to use unsplash but you can definitely use Google Images or Bing, if anybody even uses that. So if we start off, say for example, with the mountainous photo and we search something like cold mountains, we can see that there are many different photos that people have posted on Unsplash and these photos are free for anybody to use. If I choose this one, for example, this is a nice one I'm gonna download for free. So if I had to click this image, drag it to the timeline and then resize it so that we get to see the actual mountains. And if we repeat this for the kind of stars we want for other photos, we end up with this. Now this method doesn't work 100% of the time. It usually works when the shots are similar, also lit a very similar way, but you can definitely play around with different images. Bring up comparison view. And to do that, we go to Lumetri color and the color wheels and match tab, click comparison view. And then we get a mini timeline on the left and we get the current image on the right. So if I drag this mini timeline to the example, and then if I go to the mountains footage, so on the right, we have the current shot and on the left, we have the reference. Now we simply click apply match. And as you can see, the colors and the tones have changed in the shot to match that image. So you can see it's not 100% because Premiere Pro changes the hues of the highlights, midtones, and shadows, but doesn't actually do anything with the individual colors themselves. So as you can see, this match worked really well. Also, by the way, the reason I stack these is so that if I wanted to change them, I can just simply disable one or enable one without having to actually move the mini timeline around. Let's look at Shibuya. Let's click apply match. So as you can see, this did do a little bit of work, but perhaps we can work on it a little bit more. Let's uh, drop those shadows. The match is very similar. Obviously in this photo, we have some oranges that have been accented in what looks like either Photoshop or Lightroom. And we don't have this here, but the tones look the same. Let's click apply match. And you can see we get the nice green tones from the reference shot. Venice, let's try this one. Oh, I quite like this actually. And also if you find that this look is really good and you want to export it as a LUT, you can go to the three lines next to Lumetri Color, right click and do export.cube. And then from this you get a cube LUT that you can save and reuse in any other shots that you have. Even looking at the train video, this is before and this is after a little bit more adjustments afterwards. Now, I didn't actually discover this. I saw this in a video from Tyler Babin and I thought I'd share it on my channel because everybody should learn about this. So yeah, that's it for today's Quick Tip Tuesdays. I told you it was gonna be a quick one. If you like this video, leave it a like so other people can watch it. If you wanna see more videos like these, click subscribe and the notification bell so you can get notified when I make a new video. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.